Okay, um, so I've just been playing around with this circuit again, uh, tidying it up a little bit. I know it still looks like a mess. <coughs> but um, I was trying to see if I could um, use some, or use the AC and the DC at the same time. So the DC will be powered through the uh, by filer coil, which will be, we call it L L3. So we have 18 volt battery, a ZVS driver, L1 is the large copper coil, L2, which is underneath this one on the top, is just uh, one winding. Before we had uh, one side of uh, that inside the plastic uh, tube here, and out to a yeah this fluorescent bulb but this time we don't have that it's not going through we're going through the bulb and then into one uh, earth and then this side we're going through another bulb through to earth number two meanwhile we have by filer, which will be L3. So we have uh, the two ends which are connected, which will give us the earth, uh, the uh, the negative side of the coil. And the other two open ends will be the positive sides. What I've got is some Schottky diodes, which are fast reactive. <clears throat> they can take this uh, power and uh, transfer it into a capacitor bank. This is a 50 volt, uh, some of my earlier videos, I use this uh, 50 volt capacitor bank. Uh, it takes the charge very, very quickly. At the side of it, I have an old uh, DC motor, 12 volt. So basically what I'll show you is, I'll, I'll start the battery, start the system without the bifiler, uh, showing the brightness of this uh, fluorescent tube again it's only connected from one end and the other end to the earth and this side is one end and the other end to the earth this is a 240 watt uh, volt uh, 25 watt bulb from a microwave oven uh, so this is the drawing 18 volt zvs l1 l2 fluorescent tube directly to ground, microwave bulb, directly to ground, by filer, L3 we can call that. Um, previous video I showed a uh, multimeter and it is showing uh, 50 volts DC on the output of this. So I decided to add Schottky diodes uh, to the by filer uh, so two sides of the bifiler will connect into the positive and the middle uh, center tap if you like will connect to the negative <clears throat> um, this goes pretty fast so I'll see what I can do so firstly I'll show you without the I can get a higher view this is without the bifiler. So they're pretty bright. So then I connect this side to here. I'm trying to get these films out as quick as possible instead of making it look nice because we're still in the process of learning. So, this should dim these lights a little and transfer some of the power through the L3, which is the bifiler. So you can see there's uh, quite a bit of DC power there.
sort of interesting that we can still like this and have some DC power going in to the circuit. If, uh, if this is used outside instead of using radiators as uh, the two earths here and here, uh, possibly we can get even more out. But I'll just leave you with, uh, with that. Have a great weekend.